morning year one i hope that you're all okay um i'm at home and i'm sorry i'm i missed you all but i am okay uh, and i just wanted to read you a little story so we're going to have a story today called the scarecrow's wedding by julia donaldson and axel scheffler and i've got a little friend here today my little dog who's going to read with me so Flossie here my lovely companion is going to listen to the story too. The Scarecrow's Wedding by Julia Donaldson and Axel Shetler. Look at them. Oh, they look so happy. All the different creatures there as well. Betty O'Barley and Harry O'Hay were scarecrows. They scared lots of crows every day. These are the crows here, look, these black birds. You might have seen them when you've been out for a walk. And they come and they eat all the farmer's food. They're very naughty birds. Harry loved Betty and Betty loved Harry. So Harry said, Betty, my beauty, let's marry. Let's have a wedding, the best wedding yet. A wedding that no one will ever forget. Are you turning the page? No, okay then. Betty agreed, so they hugged and they kissed. Then Betty said, Harry dear, let's make a list. Here she is writing down everything that they're going to need. Just as you say, answered Harry O'Hay. So they wrote down the things they would need on the day. A dress of white feathers, a necklace of shells, lots of pink flowers, two rings, and some bells. Then Harry gave Betty O'Barley his arm and the scarecrow set off on a hunt round the farm. Oh, I wonder if they're going to find everything. Where could they find some white feathers? On a farm, I wonder. And a necklace of shells. I don't see many shells on a farm. Oh, but look, what's that? What's that in the distance? Let's see. They hadn't gone far when they spotted some geese. Oh, oh, geese! If you'll give us a feather apiece, you can come to our wedding, the best wedding yet, the wedding that no one will ever forget. That's right, well done. We will, honked the geese, and they each gave a feather. Hooray, cried the scarecrows. Oh, they hugged and they kissed and they hurried back home and crossed dress off their list. Then Harry gave Betty O'Barley his arm and they set off once more on their hunt around the farm. Oh, look, a little spider's offered to sew them together. Oh, very clever. I wonder what the spider would use to do its sewing. Mm. Oh, look here now. What was next that they needed? Something else on their list. Some... They hadn't gone far when some cows gathered round and the bells round their necks made a wonderful sound. Ring-a-ding-ding, ring-a-ding-ding. Ah, -ding. Oh, cows, will you please come and make your bells ring for our wonderful wedding, the best wedding yet, the wedding that no one will ever forget. Yeah, <laughs> Flossie, stop. I know. Yes, mooed the cows. We can tinkle our bells. Then a crab scuttled up <gasps> with a necklace of shells. Yes, because that's right. We could see the sea in the background. And the crabs come from the beach. Some mice found two rings in a bin. They were certain the rings had belonged to an old farmhouse curtain. Oh, look at that. cried the scarecrows. They hugged and they kissed. Pink flowers are the only things left on our list. Then Harry said, Betty dear, I can find those. Why don't I pick some while you have a doze? Pink flowers, pink flowers, buzzed a, buzzed a big stripy bee. I can find you a field of pink flowers. Follow me. <gasps> Oh, look at them all. 
And there's that beautiful sea in the background and the sheep. Lots of lambs about at the minute. The farmers are busy lambing, aren't they? So the bee led the way and they travelled for hours till they came to a field full of pretty pink flowers. Harry stood thinking, I won't pick them yet. I'll need to find water to keep the stalks wet. Hmm. <gasps> Just follow me, croaked a lumpy old toad. There's a lovely wet pool at the top of this road. Ooh, look at the toad, he's covered in warts. Ooh. Where would he live? Is he going to live in the sea or in a pond? What do you think? Oh, sign off to the pool. They climbed up the road. It was terribly steep. Look at that sheep thinking, where are you going? Hmm? What are you up to? Oh, I'm tired, said the toad. So they stopped for a sleep. Night owls out. Badger's sneaking out because badgers are nocturnal, so he's coming out to see what's going on. Early next morning they came to the pool. This water, said Harry, is beautifully cool. But now I need something to carry it in. A jug or a vase or a cup or a tin. Hmm, I think I can help, said a small squirrely snail. I can show you the way to a very fine pail. Do you know what a pail is? Shall we see? Jack and Jill had a pail and they filled it with water. So the snail and the scarecrow set off on their way. But the snail was so slow, it took more than a day. Look at these goats. Oh, he looks a bit fed up, doesn't he? He just wants to get back to his lovely wife-to-be. Betty was worried. Oh, what's happened to Harry? Where is the scarecrow I'm planning to marry? She looked very worried. Can you do a worried face? Ooh. Oh, well, hello there. Who is this? The farmer came by with a frown on his face and he made a new scarecrow to take Harry's place. Oh, no, and look at him. He looks, looks a little bit suspicious with that face there. Oh, no. Good day, said the scarecrow. I'm Reginald Rake. He took Betty's hand and he gave it a shake. Together, he told her, we make a fine pair. You're really quite pretty, apart from your hair. Oh, how rude. Then he jumped in the tractor and told her, hop in. I'm a really fast driver. Let's go for a spin. Ha, ha, ha. But Betty said, no, I must wait here for Harry. He is the scarecrow I'm going to marry. We're planning our wedding, the best wedding yet. The wedding that no one will ever forget. Did you say it? Reginald laughed. You'll be waiting forever. Forget about Harry. I bet he's not clever. Oh, dear. Gruff talk. Oh, I must be the cleverest scarecrow alive. I can sing lots of songs. I can dance. I can drive. I'm dashing. I'm daring. I'm cool as can be. I can even blow smoke rings. <laughs> Just watch me and see. Hmm, now then, he's a scarecrow. Scarecrows, what are they made out of? Let's have a look. What could scarecrows be made from? Because they're not humans, are they? I think they're made out of straw, dried grass. Hmm. Well, hay's dried grass. Let's have a look. And he took out a big fat cigar from his packet. The farmer had foolishly left in his jacket. But smoking is bad for you, Betty exclaimed. Really, you ought to be feeling ashamed. Oh, don't be a fusspot, said Reginald Rake. My smoke rings are staggering, make no mistake. He struck up a light and he tried hard to smoke, but straight away started to splutter and choke. 
What happened next was completely unplanned. The lighted cigar tumbled out of his hand. Oh my goodness, what do you think might happen now? They've lit this cigar with a match and he's dropped it because he's coughing. <gasps> it fell to the ground and it started a fire. Betty screamed, help! Oh, sorry, Floss. <laughs> sorry. Betty screamed, help! As the flames flickered higher. I oh, know, I'm sorry. But Reginald Rake said, oh, I'd better be off. And he bounded away with a terrible cough. What a wretched fellow. He's left poor Betty there and she's on fire. And what's he doing? Ran off. Oh, Betty, I hope someone comes to sit. <gasps> then suddenly, who should appear on the farm but Harry O'Hay with a pail on his arm? There's that pail. So what do we think the pail is? It's a bucket, isn't it? A pail of water, a bucket of water. Betty, cried Harry. Oh, my own future wife. He poured on the water and saved Betty's life. Oh, look at that. And she looks so in love and thankful. Yes, I know, Flossie. Get off the book. Yeah. Then they picked up the flowers. They hugged and they kissed. Oh. Ow! And they said, now that's everything crossed off the list. You can see there, look. Dress of white flowers. Can you remember who got the who did they get those feathers off? Sorry, dress of white feathers. Who were the feathers from? And the necklace of shells. Who brought them those shells? Hmm. And the pink flowers. That took some getting. Who found those pink flowers for them? Two rings. They weren't gold rings, though, were they? What kind of rings did they find? Oh, and those bells. I think I saw them tied round somebody's neck, or an animal's neck, but what animal was it? <gasps> so, Betty O'Barley and Harry O'Hay wed one another the very next day. And everyone, even the snail who was late, said, don't they look happy? Don't they look great? This they agreed as they sprinkled confetti on Harry O'Hay and his beautiful Betty. It's the best wedding ever, the best wedding yet, the wedding that no one will ever forget. Oh, look at her beautiful dress. That spider's been working very, very hard sewing all those beautiful feathers together. Oh, thank you for listening, Year One. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed reading it. And I think Flossie did too. So we'll do another one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.